this is Travis White and with New Blue and I'm here to show you how to use New Blue Titler Pro inside Avid Media Composer to do end credits. So the first thing we want to do is go up to the effect palette and find New Blue Titler Pro. Drag it down to the timeline and apply it to a clip or apply it to a slice on a track. Either way will be fine. Now uh, we have enter text. This is the default text that New Blue Titler Pro makes. Let's go ahead and get into the effect editor and the only control you have in the effect editor is launch titler interface. So here's our interface here, our workspace. This green bounding is what we call a paragraph. In fact, down here on the timeline, this blue bar is also a representation of that paragraph. Now you can begin to think that, oh, can I have multiple paragraphs? Yes, you can. And that's very important when you have maybe multiple cards when you're doing ending credits. First thing we want to do is simply get some text in here. So let's go to a text file. Maybe someone uh, procured this for me, and it's their fault if there's any typos. So I'm going to go ahead and simply paste that in and bring the uh, points of the font down a little bit so it's uh, easier to work with. Now you notice an orientation of the text already. Let's go back and look at that text file. We had tabs placed where we wanted the center trough to be used. So now New Blue Title of Pro is saying, hey, I'm going to align this stuff as you tell me to. Right now it's center justification. You can justify it left, justify right, left and right possibly. Let's stick with the center. And we also have the tab width, which you can control as well. So that looks pretty good right there. Let's uh, change our font to something a little bit more pleasing. In fact, every font on your system can be used. New Blue Tyler Pro uh, recognizes all of it. Okay. So we could have a standard uh, you know, roll here that's just flat, but just to show off a little bit of the 3D capabilities of what's going on in New Blue Title Pro, I'm going to bring in some rotation. Let's, so let's, let's do some rotation Y here and a little bit of X just so it kind of looks like it's coming out of the beach maybe. Let's shy that off a bit. There we go. Now this header right here, I can do a subselection. That's what's called a subselection when you have the blue bounding of a couple characters within the entire paragraph. I can go to the library and simply pick a style that I have or pick a style that I've saved previously. But I'm going to do something very basic. So I'm going to go back into attributes, go to the style tab, and simply bring in a little bit of extrusion. I'm actually going to bring up the points of the font up to 10 and the color. I'm going to dial down just a little bit. There we go. Now let's put this back in position Z of zero. Okay, how do we get this to go up and down? Well, the most obvious uh, answer is keyframing. We'll do that really quick. Turn on keyframing. Uh, get uh, the position Y just so it gets off the screen at the bottom. Slide to the end of your animation and position Y simply by changing the value you've already applied a keyframe. So here we go, we can go ahead and play this and you'll see what that looks like. This is great if everything is in one paragraph. However, if you have multiple cards or multiple paragraphs that you would like to sync in time, uh, keyframes, because the duration is king and it's gonna go as fast as it needs to go to get to the end, uh, that, that position in the end, might not always be the best answer. So let's turn off keyframing and let's instead go to the library under effects animations and we're going to go to the roll and crawl uh, of animation. In fact if you can just hover over one of those there's a, a crawl backwards. Uh, there's a little bit of a roll fast, roll medium. Let's drag and drop that uh, roll medium and you can see there's a very simple parameters. Speed of 16 and some of the presets. Let's go ahead and play that. So if you speed it up you can see how uh, it can scroll much faster. Now notice it uh, doesn't use nearly as much time on the timeline to get this job done, obviously, because it's moving faster. If we move it slower, maybe something 9, it's going to take longer to get through all the text. But you have absolute control on what the speed is going to be, and this you will find to be very handy. All right, so now this, uh, we have this rolling uh, text. 
we might want, especially since it's in this 3D orientation, we might not want it to hit the pure top and bottom of our video production. Let's put a little bit of a fade on there. A great way to do that in Titler Pro is under Effects, go to the Starter Pack. This is a potpourri of uh, different effects from our large catalog at New Blue to give you an idea of the other kind of things that we have. But I can go to Spotlight and simply hovering over a preset instantly gives you a preview of what the different presets are going to do. I know I want black and white center because what that's going to give me is just a nice clean uh, uh, circle of, of, of sorts that I can manipulate the angle and the center of this thing. And I'm going to change the size a bit, maybe add a little bit of feather, and now we can see, in fact, let's uh, bring that up a bit. There we go. Now we can see a nice fade at the bottom, a nice fade at the top. And the last thing that I have going on here is maybe at the end, I don't want to just go off the screen. I want to do something a little more interesting. Let's go back to the library under Transitions and Animations. Let's do something called, um, which one do we want? Shuffle Letters. So I can grab something called Musical Chairs, drag and drop it to the end, and now you'll notice, in fact, let's, uh, let's extend that a little bit more. Now you can see that my characters are kind of breaking up in the end. Go ahead and play that. There you go. Maybe I don't like that preset. Maybe something like uh, slide into place might be a little more appropriate. Yeah, it's a little more organic. I like that. Now, I just showed you a couple basics. What we want to do is look at a project that has a couple different paragraphs in it. In fact, I'll just go to File, Open Recent Projects, Credits Multicard. Let's ditch what we have here. And you can see down here in the timeline, we have a number of different paragraphs all doing their work. One, two, three. Um, and so let's go ahead and close that down. Slide that in Media Composer. And now you can see ending credits, 3D space, excellent orientation uh, in 3D space, as well as different cards. If we slide that forward, have those different cards going at different speeds with different orientations. And finally, ending with a very interesting transition, obviously one of your choice. This is Travis White. Thanks for watching.